Welcome back to the GSMC Hoops and Heels Women Sports Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We just got done recapping recent WNBA games and now we're going to recap the Amundi Evian Championships. The Amundi Evian Championship took place at the Evian Resort Golf Club in France from the 11th to the 14th, so it ended yesterday. It was a really solid tournament with a lot of high-level competition. Before we get started recapping, I wanted to remind you guys to like and follow the show and to become a part of our show to tip and donate using the link gsmcpodcast.net. Also, using this link puts your questions and comments at the top of the list so that I see them and they get read on the air and you get that, you know, fun, interactive aspect of the GSMC Sports Network. I also wanted to remind you guys to stay till the end of the show to hear about my rankings of the NWSL kids. It's a fun segment. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get started talking about the Amandi Evian Championships. Okay, so on Thursday, which is the day that it started, Nelly, during round one, Nelly Corda starting on the 10th hole, birdie three of her first six holes before making a double boogie on the par three 16th. She recovered with a birdie on the par 5 18 to make the turn in two under 34, and then played her incoming ninth in even par with two birdies and two boogies. Corda birdied all four par fives in round one. Following her two under 69, the world number one was just inside the top 20, five shots off the early lead. Corda, who won six of her first eight stars this year, is coming off three consecutive missed cuts. That latter stretch includes two major championships, the U.S. Women's Open and the KPMG Women's PGA Championships. Corda next has to avoid any repeat of what happened at the KPG, KPMG. G. <laughs> I'm so sorry. KPMG, where she opened in three under 69 at Sahali Country Club, but carded a shocking 81 that Friday to miss the cut. So the first round ended with three players tied for first and six other players tied for second when stroke behind. Gemma Dryberg, rookie Ingrid Limblad, and Patty Tamantanikit led at seven under. Lauren Coughlin, Lydia Ko, Hayaju Kim, Ayaka Faru, Hyjin Cho, and Gabby Lopez were tied at six under. Limblad pulled the greatest surprise of the round with a boogie free seven birdie performance to take the share of the lead. Dryberg and Tamantanikit were also boogie free. Defending champion Celine Boudier finished the first round in T21 with a score of two under. The second round was suspended due to weather, so the second round started on Friday and had to continue for some people on Saturday. So on Friday, Ayaka Faru led the field at 12 under par and three shots clear of her closest competitors. With five holes still left in her second round, Faru was six under par and boogie free through 31 holes. Stephanie Karaku and Haran Ryu were nine under par for the tournament and each sat at four under par in their second round. Both players return on Saturday to complete their second rounds, with Karaku through 16 holes and Ryu through 11. Angela Stanford, who earned her maiden major title at the 2018 Amundi Evian Championship, sat in a tie for fourth through 12 holes with fellow major champion Patty Tabanakit through 15 holes at under eight under. Sorry. Prior to the suspension of the play, the morning wave was able to complete round two and several players made jumps in the top 10 with their second round scores. With a second round 63, LPGA Tour rookie Eugene Sung started the day in a tie for 75th and currently at that moment sat tied for six heading into Saturday, which that was like, it's hard to explain, but that was her end of round two on Friday. So she didn't have to continue on Saturday for round two. So into Saturday or round three. She was um, tied for six. Sung recorded an eagle, E seven birdies, and one boogie during her second round, signed for the lowest 18 hole of her young career. She was just the third player in a Monday Evian Championship major, major history to shoot a 63 or lower in the second round. Sung said, quote, I think the course is pretty familiar in courses I played in Korea. It's a bit tougher here than in Korea, but there are many similarities, so I think Korean players may have an advantage in attacking the pins. Even if you hit it well, the ball tends to bounce out quite a bit, so it's important to keep your mental game in and focus when that happens, unquote. LPGA Tour veteran Mi Hyun Lee recorded a 566 to move into a tie for six from 21st place. Additionally, three players, Georgia Hall, Naren Ann, and Jin Young Ko, recorded second-round scores of 67 on Friday morning to sit in a tie for 10th. 
Finishing up round two on Saturday, Ayaka Furu confirmed her leading status at a total of 12 under, finishing her second round with five pars. Despite a slight dip in form at the end of her round one, she relied on flawless putting to save pars on the 10th and 12th holes. She then made another par on the 13th before the foghorn halted play. Resuming on Saturday morning on the 14th tee, she hit another regulation green. She then created two clear birdie opportunities on the 15th and 16th, but without success. Two more pars to complete her second 18 holes kept her in sole possession of the lead on the halfway point with no mistakes over 36 holes. Two strokes behind, Stephanie Karaku and Patty Tevinakit shared second place at 10 under. After round two, there were several players that were expected to make the cut, but unfortunately they did not, and those players were Athia Thitical, Leona McGuire, Yuka Sasso, Megan Kong, Charlie Hole, Carlota Singanda, and Ailey Kim. For the amateurs, Rachel Keon was the only one who made the cut thanks to her impressive 36-hole total of 2-under. Adela Cernarsic missed the cut by two strokes, Lottie Wode and Mel Melanie Green by three, Megan Schofield by four, and Chun Wee Wu by five. Finally, Yana Wilson used her first appearance at Evian to gain experience. Moving on to round three, which continued on Saturday, Stephanie Karaku took the lead. The most consistent player this week with three rounds of 66, 66, 67, totally 14 under par. She is now reaping the rewards. Playing in the final group of a major for the first time, all eyes were basically on her. <laughs> Trailing by one stroke were Ayaka Faru and Lauren Coughlin. Playing alongside Karaku Saturday was Ayaka Faru, impressive with both her long game unputting in the first two rounds. The world number 21 slightly slowed her pace after shooting two consecutive rounds of 65. She extended her boogie free streak to 46 holes before minor errors on the 11th and 13th holes bookend on a birdie on the 12th, resulting in a final score of 70 for moving day. Meanwhile, Lauren Coughlin has also joined the final group of the major, playing on the LPGA since 2018. She had a strong start this week, finishing Thursday at 5-under, just two strokes behind the first round leaders. Her last three holes in the second round lightly set her up for moving day. I feel like it set her up well. A 70 left her poised for a strong comeback, which she achieved with a magnificent second round score of 65, featuring four birdies and two eagles. After two rounds of 70, Ali Ewing stepped up her game, finishing her third round with a boogie free 64, the best score of the day. Patty Tabanakit struggled a little bit during round three. She had a double boogie on the first and a boogie on the third. However, a boogie on the fourth sorry, a birdie on the fourth, followed by another on the ninth, put her back on track. She finished her moving day with a 72, still within reasonable distance of leader Karaku to hope for a victory on Sunday. Celine Boudier also struggled at the start of her third round with the triple bouquet, following an errant drive to the right and a series of small mistakes. From there, she had a rally, which she did, with three birdies and two boogies. Over the next 17 holes, she managed to finish with a 73. I thought it was a pretty good comeback, to be honest. Lastly, during round four on Sunday, the suspense was rough, but it was a Yakafru who ultimately seized the trophy of the Mundi Evian Championship. After an exceptional start to the week with 46 boogie free holes, she faced a few tougher holes without even faltering. Often saved by her putting and frequently comfortable with her long game, she demonstrated consistency and exemplary behavior. Already leading after the second round, she had to battle relentlessly to fend off Karaku. Karaku started the final round as the tournament leader and delivered a fabulous final 18 holes. With five birdies on her scorecard, including three on the last four holes, the boogie on her 17th might linger in her mind. <laughs> Nevertheless, it was her first time in a final group of a major, likely heralding a promising series. Notably, she was the only player to shoot under 70 throughout the week. The last few holes did not favor Lauren Coughlin, whose missed short putts on the 16th and 17th led to two boogies, dashing her hopes of lifting the trophy. Nonetheless, it was a very successful week for the American, who showcased her skills in honor of Angela Stanford's career end. Following her four top 15 finishes in 2024, the world's 56th ranked player can be proud of her impressive performance this week. So here's how the top 12 places looked at the end of round four. Ayaka Faru at first, under 19 under. Stephanie Karaku in second at 18 under. Patty Tamina Kitt in third at 17 under. Lauren Coughlin in fourth at 15 under. Hera and Ryu at fifth at 13 under. Parjari and Nana Rukarn and six at eleven under. I feel like she snuck in there. <laughs> like she was not making headlines at all. I wasn't to be honest, I wasn't paying much attention to her when watching the competition because I did not expect her to, you know, beat some of the players who ended up getting cut, but then you know she snuck in there. 
And then tied at seventh at 10 under were Payan Chien, Esther Henzelet, and Hai Jin Cho. Tied at 10th at nine under was Aki Awei and Ali Ewing. Lastly, tied at 12th at eight under was Jenny Shin, Hai Yu Jok Kim, Paula Rito, Madeline Sagstrom, and Aaron Ann. One other notable thing from round four was that Pai Yun Chien made a hole in one. The 33 year old ace the par 3 16 hole at Evan Resort Golf Club from 155 yards with her eight iron to record the first hole in one of her professional career and the fourth ace she has ever had in her life. So that concludes our recap of the Amandi Evian Championships. We are now going to move into our, the next segment where we talk about the CrossFit game predictions. Before we get into that, we're going to be taking a very short break. So I will see you guys very soon. Looking for your daily fix of sports talk without having to pay for it? GSMC Sports Network is available on YouTube. Just search GSMC Sports Network. Get your fix of daily sports talk shows on YouTube absolutely free. NFL, college football, NBA, MLB, MMA, UFC, fantasy football, and so much more. GSMC Sports Network has shows running all day long with new sports shows starting every two hours. Just like on your favorite cable sports channel, except GSMC Sports Network is absolutely free. Just search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube to catch one of your new favorite shows, like the GSMC College Football Podcast, Chip Shot Football Podcast, Hoops and Heels Women's Sports Podcast, GSMC Basketball Podcast, and so many more. Check it out for yourself. GSMC Sports Network, now available on YouTube absolutely free. Search GSMC Sports Network on YouTube right now. 